Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this midwinter day. That would be Thursday, January 21st, 2021, and I am Sam Mitchell, and this is Collapse Chronicles, and this is part two of today's two-part chronicle of the collapse where we go over to none other than the world economic forum uh for today's chronicle of the collapse and so if you did not hear part one you need to uh you need to listen to part one for part two to make much sense so in part one I read this story uh, that came out on the World Economic Forum on January 19th, on the day before Joe Biden took over the reins in the White House and within, what, the first 20 minutes of uh, becoming the planet eater in chief, uh, he rejoined, you know, he, the U.S. rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement, you know, this United Nations uh, agreement, uh, which will do, obviously, absolutely nothing to solve uh, anything going on with this climate and the collapse of the planet. You know, the Paris Climate, the U.N. Paris Climate Agreement, is the like the constitution of uh, of the new green deal of the bright green lie uh, but i'm i'm not going to have this turn into a uh, a a discussion of the paris climate agreement that's another video for another day but anyway, the, the title of this article that I just read was Climate Change Will Be Sudden and Cataclysmic. We Need to Act Fast. And uh, if you listen to that article, what it was was an absolute in-your-face, over-the-top, no-shit Sherlock Doomer 101. It was like Doomer for dummies. This article is not written for Doomers, for us who understand how uh, how absolutely screwed we are. And I, I, I have to give uh, the World Economic Forum some uh, credit here that this article, if, if you, just this article, just standing on its own, is not, you cannot accuse the World Economic Forum of being apocaloptimist uh, in this article. Uh, it, it is a straight-ahead explanation of what uh, it, it is coming down on the planet. Uh, just spelling it out, uh, with with no uh, w w with no hopium in it, no apocalyptism whatsoever. Uh, so what it is doing, what this uh, the World Economic Forum and, and, and guys, for I anybody who does not understand who the World Economic Forum is, okay, this this is the Davos boys. Okay, do you get it? The, the, this is the creme de la creme of these globalist billionaires. If, if you had to pick one group of people that have done more to uh, lay the foundations for the collapse of a planet, <clears throat> it would be the World Economic Forum, even more so than the United Nations uh, that this bunch of planet eaters uh, have more blood on their hands uh, for bringing this planet to the place they're talking about uh, in this article, and you better believe you can expect a lot more 
of these articles, uh, the, these appropriately fear-mongering articles, uh, that the World Economic Forum, <clears throat> you know, and, and again, guys, I, I can throw my New Year's resolution uh, about never mentioning the C word out the window because it talks about the lessons they have learned from the corona panic. And you better believe that the World Economic Forum has learned a major lesson from the corona panic about how easy it is to get an entire planet to hop on the fear wagon that uh, and, and, and get an entire planet to uh, j just to uh, just to do what the New World Order and of course the World Economic Forum uh, is the New World Order. They, they are the, the captains of the ship of the global corporatocracy, which is what I call the New World Order, that it is fear that is going to get this planet uh, aligned together. So what uh, you better believe now that they've got Joe Biden, uh, their point man, their little step and fetch it, Senator, uh, what is it, Senator Cre Joe Credit Card Biden, as, uh, as uh, Chris Hedges calls the guy, that uh, Joe Biden... Uh, represents the global corporatocracy. I mean, they have their man in the White House, and of course, they have their woman in the White House. That uh, th this this is an absolutely brilliant uh, coup de what is it? Coup de gras is is that how you pronounce it? Getting this uh, supposed lefty. Uh, in the White House. You know, of course, Joe Biden would have been considered a moderate Republican uh, 30 years ago. It's just that, you know, as the uh, politics in this country, and, and I would say on this planet, has moved so far to the right that a moderate Republican is is now being touted as some sort of lefty Democrat. But anyway, uh, Joe Biden and uh, Kamala Harris, uh, you know, now being the carrying the torch for these, uh, what I call these little lefty greenies buying in to the bright green lies that uh, that the Green New Deal is going to do anything to save this planet. Uh, all it's going to do is give the boys in Davos more uh, of this planet-eating crap to sell the clueless moron little lefty greenies. It's just uh, establishing a new business as usual. It, it's not exactly kicking the can down the road. It's, it's just giving us another can to kick down the road. Uh, it, it, it's what this whole thing is about. And, and, and this is just a continuation uh, of, of what you've seen going on with the United Nations. You know, they're getting increasingly strident in their completely honest <clears throat> reporting about how screwed we are. And, and, and you are, and the UN will now be given license to, uh, to start spouting this doomer porn. Uh, you will see the United Nations, the World Economic Forum, uh, probably the Council on Foreign Relations and the Bilderbergers, for all I know. You will see an avalanche 
of doomer porn being dumped on the planet. Uh, they, they, they have been given a bright green light to spread their bright green lies to go full doomer. And, and, and why would uh, this bunch of billionaires want to go full doomer? It is to spread fear and panic. You know, how many years have I been talking about uh, what is it going to look like when this planet starts to wake up to the fact how doomed we are? And, and this was an absolute brilliant stroke of genius. And I have to admit, guys, I'm embarrassed. I, 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 I pretty much did not see this coming. But now, I, you know, this article has been the biggest epiphany. You know, I didn't see it coming even with Greta Thunberg and uh, these increasingly uh, doomy uh, IPCC reports and, and, and whatnot, I have to admit, I'm not entirely blindsided by this, uh, by this epiphany. It just, it, but it is, a, th this is a major aha moment in my own doomer evolution. Uh, that the World Economic Forum, the throat of the tiger of planet eating, uh, coming out talking ab about how humans are destroying the planet. Now, of course, uh, if you listen to that article, and if you didn't, you need to go listen to it, you will not see the word overpopulation mentioned anywhere in the article. The, the very notion that the reason this planet is in the shape it's in is because there's too many people on the planet uh, will be nowhere on, they actually call this the Davos Agenda. This article is part of the Davos Agenda. And what the Davos Agenda is... So I anyway, what I did not read... So uh, you read the article, and then at the, the uh, bottom of the article, uh, there's a separate link to... If you want to find out what is the World Economic Forum doing about climate change. This is what you will learn. What is the World Economic Forum doing about climate change? Climate change poses an urgent threat, demanding decisive action. Communities around the world are already experiencing increased climate impacts from droughts to floods to rising seas. The World Economic Forum's Global Risks Report continues to rank these environmental threats at the top of the list. To limit global temperature rise to well below 2 degrees C and as close as possible to 1.5 degrees C above pre-industrial levels, which of course is what the Paris Climate Agreement this is language coming directly from the Paris Climate Agreement, the single most BS uh, agreement to save this planet uh, ever written. Uh, uh, it is essential that businesses policymakers and civil society advance comprehensive near and long-term climate actions in line with the goals of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. This is where, you know, the World Economic Forum obviously uh, is in lockstep 
with the United Nations to promote, uh, you, you know, the Paris Climate Agreement, which, as any Doomer knows, uh, even if the they did everything in it, this planet is going to hell in a handbasket. The World Economic Forum's Climate Initiative supports the scaling and acceleration of global climate action through public and private sector collaboration. Ha! Ah, the initiative works across several work streams to develop and implement inclusive and ambitious solutions. This includes the Alliance of CEO Climate Leaders. The Alliance of CEO Climate Leaders. A global network of business leaders from various industries. From various industries developing cost-effective solutions to transitioning to a low-carbon, climate-resilient economy. CEO, CEOs, meaning, you know, people like, uh, you know, we're, we're talking uh, Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. These are the people we're talking about. CEOs use their position and influence with policymakers and corporate partners to accelerate the transition and realize the economic benefits of delivering a safer climate. Contact us at the World Economic Forum to get involved. And then uh, they also have a link here, the World Economic Forum telling us how to save the planet. And when you click on, uh, when you click on the World Economic Forum uh, <clears throat> explaining to us to how to save the planet, this, this, this is not the onion, guys, okay? This is the World Economic Forum telling us how to save the planet. And when you click on that, of course, the number one way to save planet Earth is to develop these batteries. The, you know, the, you know, electric car batteries they're, they're talking about mostly that we're going to save the planet by uh, going from gas-sucking cars to electric cars. And uh, can you say conflict minerals? As I was reading in this article yesterday, that when you really break it down about what it means to save the planet, by moving into the, this absolute BS uh, new green deal that you will, uh, that the actual mining of this stuff uh, will have a bigger direct impact on the actual land uh, on the planet, and you better believe that what this is is setting in motion deep sea mining. Uh, that to, to, uh, <clears throat> to move us to a low carbon economy uh, will require deep sea mining. You know, it's the last frontier where uh, these planet eaters uh, from the World Economic Forum and, you know, cementing this, uh, this it's fascism. It's, it, that is the word for it when private corporations dictate government policy. When the, uh, you know, when the president 
of the U.S. Uh, takes his orders from the World Economic Forum. That is exactly who Joe Biden uh, is going to be uh, taking his orders from. Uh, you know, the, those whack job right wing conspirators uh, have it a little bit right uh, 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 about who these globalists are. Uh, you know, they, the, the, the Davos agenda is to uh, hoodwink, uh, to hoodwink uh, these, uh, you know, mainly these little lefty uh, mainstream environmentalists uh, who do not want to face the truth, because they cannot handle the truth. Now, speaking of the truth, my guess is uh, that uh, I don't know how many of these uh, how many of these Davos boys there are. Let's say there's 100 of these billionaires in, in the uh, in the club over there in Davos, Switch. Let's say if there's 100 of them, my guess is that 90 of them completely don't believe one word of this story. They are pushing what they believe is a big lie. They don't believe one word of this stuff uh, about the imminent collapse of a planet, but they know it is good for their bottom line. All they're doing is they're lying, from their perspective, they are lying out their teeth and they don't care because it all it does is increase their bottom line. That's all they're, that 90% is interested in. And the other 10 guys, they are probably know damn well uh, how doomed this planet is. And that's why they're out, you know, like uh, digging uh, bunkers in New Zealand. Uh, they're, they're flying off to Mars. Uh, they're arming themselves to the teeth uh, those guys, but there is not one, uh, I, I don't believe there, there is one person in Davos who believes both sides of, uh, of this. Either they don't believe everything uh, that was written in this article about how completely doomed we are, or if they do believe it, they know damn well there are no solutions to this, uh, to this uh, unfolding catastrophe, and, and they're doing everything they can to save their own asses uh, from it, but uh, on their way out, they're going to make as much money as they can from the collapse of a planet. I have always said there's all sorts of ways to make money from the collapse of a planet. And electric car batteries are certainly uh, a damn good place to uh, invest. If you want to make money off the collapse of a planet uh, between here and doomsday, uh, electric car batteries are, are a damn good place to start your own investment portfolio. These greedy bastards, uh, it doesn't matter which side of the fence they're on, that uh, they don't believe a word of what they're saying, or they believe every bit of the words uh, about how screwed we are and know damn well that there are no solutions. Here come this beautiful flock of uh, white ibises. Look at those beautiful birds flying down the river. Uh, it, it makes no difference so which side uh, uh, of the billionaire fence they're on. Uh, they are going to grab as much money as they can on their way out of here. The planet be damned. 
anybody thinking the World Economic Forum or the you know the larger umbrella group, the uh, United Nations gives a damn about this planet. <clears throat> I, I mean, clearly, uh, I have had a failure to communicate. So this is what I guess uh, the planet, uh, as more and more uh, people start to wake up to the fact uh, of how absolutely doomed we are, uh, that they're going to start grasping at straws. I guess this is, what is this called, the bargaining phase uh, of the grieving process, how uh, on their way to becoming doomers, and I, and I went through a little bit of this myself. Uh, they are going, uh, the, the, these, uh, as more and more of this planet comes to the realization that we are doomed, uh, you're going to see more and more of this magical thinking, this wishful thinking, these cargo cults. If you don't know what a cargo cult is, go look that up. It, it, it is the bargaining phase. It is right out of the playbook of every single uh, civilization that has ever collapsed on this planet. You have seen this time and time and time and time again. The difference being that this global industrial civilization, uh, when it collapses, the question is, are we going to take the entire planet with us? Uh... The, that that's the the question, the the big question, but uh, we are seeing uh, the, the, this play out as uh, as the World Economic Forum and the UN and the rest of these globalist planet eaters uh, taking us into planet fear mode, just like uh, they've done with the C word. Uh, and we will see uh, how many uh, of, of these clueless morons uh, with, uh, you know, with their cheerleader in chief of the clueless morons, uh, you know, to, just voluntarily uh, line up behind uh, Joe Biden and, and all of the rest of the gang. Uh, as they grasp for any straws to keep uh, the, to keep this uh, machine going and and talking about sustainable development, uh, which is you know Derek Jensen uh, how many years ago was calling the uh, oxymoron of the 21st century sustainable development, clean energy, the Green New Deal. Uh, it is, it, it, it is be, it's the bright green lie. It, it, it is an absolute joke. We are doomed. Uh, and once we get through this bargaining phase, at least the World Economic Forum might unintentionally get a few more people coming over uh, to the dark side. And anyway, uh, I have to wrap up this rant because you guys will be thrilled to know that I actually have a date Sam Mitchell has a date uh, here from Pile of Fish. Pile of Fish, my, uh, my ad. I changed my ad last week to anti-Trumper seeks anti-masker, and I do not believe it. I have found uh, here in this undisclosed uh, swamp a fellow anti-Trumper, anti-masker, not sure she's a doomer chick, 
but you never can tell. Wish me luck and enjoy uh, your bright green lies while you still can. Bye, guys.